Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 6th of December and today we are killing three glitches officers while killing as few other people as possible. We have glitch sickness, we are shaky, and we are ex-offworld. We got a con camera for bash dashing, we have a swapper for swapping in, and a crash beam for crashing whenever we need... Well, you got a brick. Oh, we got a brick, but we're trying not to kill too many people. Mmm, that's rough. Bricking is still an option. I can imagine sometimes that we can use the brick, but there's a good chance we don't. Um, but yeah, gonna swap in on ships one and two. For once, we have glitch sickness, but we don't have to worry about alarms or people seeing us, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, we got glitch dasher, got guns, emergency shield. Important to note that they have the key. Target flees as well. Let's see what the shape of the ship is like. Alright, so we got our target here. Uh, they're off, like, kind of off to the side and in the corner, which means the rest of the group of guards is right there. Um, not really a super safe spot to brick. Pilot's right here. And they usually don't get sucked out when you blow up something next to them, but sometimes they do, so I can't really do that. I could technically blow up the window, but that, like, barely saves any time at all. Also, it's target fleas. Telepad's right. Tel okay, telepad is brickable. But no, I think I'm just going to swap in here. They're not behind a locked door. Nope, too close. Because they're in a group of guards, they're not behind a locked door, so I don't have to worry about that. And even if they were, I could eventually get their key by docking with the pod. All right. Caught the pod. All right. I don't want them to go after me. They haven't teleported yet. So yeah, I'm just going to give them a bash. Give them a bash and then run this way. And get that moving a little bit. Attempt to give the window a shot. Hey, that worked. And then attempt to catch myself. And why is it going off course? I guess it was just on collision course to that one. Because I was like, it's not a... It's not a timing one, it's the target fleas. Um, we don't get the target's item unless we dock. That's too much of a pain. Eight seconds. Eight seconds is very... Eight seconds. Eight seconds is very good. Especially for having glitch sickness. Huh. Nice. Yeah, I must have had a better approach than I thought I did. All right, we got wrenches. Would be nice to have more of those, though your shields are going to go up immediately. Heat sensor and target fleas. Oh, I should have grabbed that other gun. Oh, well. Okay, we got another one right up here. That They're not in the center, so they're not... Gonna be behind a locked door. So, we'll just do this again. Uh, we got target fleas again. Swapper and boop. Okay, unfortunately, we don't get this crate because they had the key unless we docked the pod. 
but we're not in a great position to dock the pod. Um, I thought for sure that you would put your shields up. But if not, I'll take the extra non-lethal weapons. Alright, shoot out the window. That looks solid. Alright, we're not going to have a whole lot of equipment for ship 3, but we did ships 1 and 2 really fast. There we go. For nine seconds this time. Boop. All right, we got emergency shields and random kits. Got predator target, fleas, jammer defenders, many sentry guns. Okay. That's way too close. Get away from me. Okay, so target fleas. What? is it looking like as far as bricking goes we can't swap in because of glitch protection if we could that'd be an obvious just swap in and do the same thing once again it looks like they're in a pod they're kind of close to the center it's possible that they're at a terminal but probably in a pod of guards um we have a low chance of being able to swap in here, so probably not doing that. Let's go where the telepad is. It's usually around here, telepad. That is a non-brickable location. Yeah, there's no way we can brick this safely. We would have to break this and this. Breaking this is probably impossible. <laughs> and then doing this in a short amount of time. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. All right. Would be nice to be able to break this. We could get extremely lucky if it was like a winding hallway or something. And then we bricked this and cut them off. Then that would technically be a way to do it. But we don't know what the interior looks like, so we can't. We could try. That would be a hell of a gamble. And if it wasn't target fleas, I probably would brick. I would brick in the last room. Okay, auto zoom. Would we have been fine? We would not have been fine, because they could have just, if we bricked here, could have just gone around up here. Okay. And then, yeah, even if we, even if the telepad was accessible to brick, there's always a chance also that these guards were next to it. Um, I still, if the telepad was like on this corner, I still might have taken that risk. Because then we could have bricked that, then we could have bricked over here, and then been real close to the target. Uh, we got a crash beam for the Predator. Getting you out with all, all of you shooting me and what have you is going to be fun. Or we could set off the alarm. Setting off the alarm brings you closer to a fuel barrel, which is handy. Also brings you closer to a defender, which is less handy. Yeah, let's see what we got here first. All right, we need to shoot, I guess. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting. I also couldn't swap in though down there. All right, really feeling the lack of gadgets at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be fine. 
We can dodge past you. Do a smack. Gonna try and smack you before your shield gets up. Nice. Uh, more worried about shotgun, and I also need your key. Deactivate sentry gun. Uh, quiet concussive shotgun. Why do you have a concussive shotgun? I'll take it, but... Slightly worried about your shield going up, but it's probably fine. Do I care about the alarm going off right now, actually? You're going off to the side... The problem with going down through here is they'll see me and follow around to a fuel barrel that I'm probably going to blow up. So probably going around this way. Um, alarm is probably fine, so I'll let you be conscious if you want to be. Though you might not set off the alarm. Yeah, you're not actually going to set off the alarm, aren't you, right? Um, hopefully you don't shoot. Okay. Because if they shot, they were going to hit this guy. Alright, give you a smack. Give you a smack. And now it's your guys' turn to set off the alarm. I always underestimate how long it takes for the alarm to get set off. Sidewinder, interesting. So yeah, I really should have set it off immediately, but oh well. Okay, yeah, I want to go down here. Because I don't want to deal with Defender and a billion shields. No, you just had to go off and do your own thing. Deactivate. Okay, that should be fine. I'm slightly worried about me smacking them. Potentially, like, launching them down and breaking the window, but no, that should be perfectly fine. Give them a couple smacks. Extreme Range Key Cloner. It's a little late for that to be relevant, but alright. Then we got our friend over here. And now I get to decide what we do. Stealth shield's nice to have. We are killing you, so we'll kill you. We can either leave through the fuel barrel, which is slightly safer, or we can leave through here. And we got our sidewinder. Okay, okay, okay. We can... If we wait a little bit, they'll put up their shields. Pick up a... Oh, wait, that's a second sidewinder. Um, and we're going to pick up this as well. So these are non-lethal. Hopefully one of these will hit the window. Walk this way. Remote control. Now all of those guards, they're looking to the left. Did anyone get sucked out? Doesn't look like it. Perfect. Alright, so they're all looking to the left. They won't see me as I go like so. And so they won't walk out the window. Which is important because since the target flees was set off, as long as the target's body is on the ship, it stays loaded. So they don't unload. So that's important. Um, we got another Sidewinder. And we got a brick coming in hot.
And we bloop in. There we go. For 13 seconds, not too bad. Okay, 5.99. I'm I'm really happy with that. Add some nice approaches. Add swaps in, and I'm really happy with using the shotgun to break the window and the sidewinder to get out safely. Yeah, I'm really happy with today. Alright, currently in first. Looks like we didn't get a 7-2 today, or maybe their score didn't submit. Um, oh yeah, I'm really happy with today. This is a very good day. Yesterday, if 7-2 taking the top spot with 43 seconds and a 5-98. Very nice job. That is quite the lead. We have me coming in second. Razdal Bachelor in third, Rond in fourth, and Roland seven KB in fifth place. Have I I don't know if I've seen Roland seven KB, especially not that exact name up here in the top five. If you're new, welcome to the top five. Good to see a new face. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.